Welcome to part 3 of fixing my $100 Corex Wire 3D printer. This video is more of a recap as I didn't capture any footage while tinkering. The first change I did is I 3D printed the eccentric nuts I needed as mentioned in the last video. I wondered if they would be strong enough as they were quite small and seemingly fragile, but it turns out they were good enough for now and eventually I will upgrade to the proper metal ones anyway. After that I reinstalled the idlers and used split washers instead of nuts to separate the idlers from the base. This was a much better solution and made the idlers much looser, enabling them to spin more freely. I also moved them around as some online images pointed out that I had them in the wrong direction. Next, I installed the corner idler mounts. These were a bit tricky as the holes were different diameters and I was also running low on the correct size bolts. I did have to use a couple of different types, but in the end I got everything mounted correctly and functioning as it should. Finally came the belts. I snipped off the cable ties and loosely routed them until I found a way that I thought had worked. I then tightened and fastened them. It was very cool to be able to rotate the motors and see the printer move accordingly. And that's pretty much it. A short video, I know, but I've got a couple of big projects planned for the future. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.